You right now we have five days left in our nine cares Colorado shares drive five days to raise the money that will help Colorado's food banks help families facing food insecurity every day and we want to be incredibly transparent with you. We have quite a ways to go to hit our goal for this drive this morning. Nine's water Courtney Yoon joins us live from the King Supers in Loveland. Courtney Larimer County is really seeing a larger need here. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Jordan and Corey. And like you said, we're not even halfway to our goal of $500,000. So far, all of you have helped us raise $172,000, which is really great. Um, but there are four food banks that we are serving with this food drive. And one of them is the Food Bank for Larimer County. I'm here with Amy Pisani, who is the CEO of the Food Bank for Larimer County. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about this food truck that we have here. We know that it goes and it rescues food. Right. So behind you is one of our uh, one of our trucks. Um, our driver Birgit happens to drive this truck and and all of our trucks are four of them that go around to grocery stores like King Super in Larimer County um, every day and collect food um, that is unsellable but perfectly good food and so um, in any given week um, Birgit might collect 20,000 pounds of food and all of that, almost all of that, is uh, picked up by hand, put on the truck, um, and brought back and immediately given out to folks who need it. Wow, and 20,000 pounds of food, that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot of food, but we know that the need is much higher than that. Um, our audience has helped us raise so far 515,000 meals, which also sounds like a lot, but we know that doesn't last very long. Right, to put that in perspective, last month, so in May, we had our highest distribution month Ever. We distributed 1.2 million pounds of food just in the month of May. So yes, while 20,000 pounds of food sounds like a lot, and it is, um, we need a lot more than that to be able to meet the needs that we have right now. Right, and the, the, those four food banks that I keep talking about so far, we've only raised a couple thousand dollars for Food Bank for Larimer County. So if people see the QR code on their screen right now, they can actually scan that with their phone and then they can choose which food bank they would like that money to go to. If you go to King Supers, your money also stays local if you round up at the register, add a few dollars. Um, but you thought during the pandemic that was gonna be the height of it, but it hasn't been. It absolutely hasn't been. So we are serving about 40,000 residents annually. Those are unduplicated numbers. And since um, some of the pande pandemic era um, um, stimulus checks and uh, SNAP allocations went away, um, the need has just continued to rise. We're about 36% higher year over year in the number of people we're serving. Wow, those we don't like breaking those records, but no, thank you don't. for breaking down the numbers for us this morning, Amy, and we'll talk to you more later on. Thank you so much. All right, and Amy's gonna tell us later, one of those very vulnerable populations this summer is children who are going without food. She's gonna tell us a little bit about their lunch lab, which is helping kids in Larimer County. Back to you, Corey and Jordan. All right, Courtney, thank you.